did you know that stretching helps with your overall sport performance and fitness? It also helps with flexibility, agility, it helps keep you supple, and also helps you prevent injury in sport. So this is a 30 minute full body stretch routine that I do for surfing, which helps me a lot. I do it on a regular basis, test it out, and let me know what you think, and I hope it works out for you. Start off by pulling your arm across the chest. Hold each stretch for 20 seconds. Make sure to breathe deep breaths in and out of your nostrils. Now you grab your arm by the elbow and pull it behind your head and hold it there and make sure that you still focus breathing in and out of your nostrils. Link your hands and fingers together, reach over and tuck your chin into your chest and you will feel your shoulder muscles pull in and stretch in. Over here, I'm just cracking my back a little bit by pushing in a forward and upward motion with my knuckles around the muscles next to my spine on my lower back. Now place your feet together, keep your legs straight, take a deep breath as you reach up to the sky and you should feel your abdominal muscles stretching and pulling. Sometimes I hold this in one breath, but it's best to maybe breathe in and out through your nose. I do this for a bit, and then I will slowly start reaching down towards the ground and exhale, and I'll keep my hands on the ground, keeping my legs straight and together. And then make sure that you continue breathing nicely through your nostrils, in and out with deep breaths. You should feel all the muscles at the back of your legs pull in. If you want extra pull and stretch, you can do what I'm doing. As I reach over to the left side and then to the right side, you'll feel some extra pull and tension on that side of the legs. You can also grab the back of your ankles, tuck your chin into your chest, and when you hold it in that position, you'll feel the muscles at the back of your legs pull and stretch even more. 
Now you stand a little bit wider than shoulder width apart and reach and lean over to the one side, hold it there, and then you reach and switch to the other side. Place one hand on your hip, reach to the sky with the other hand, and you should feel that open side stretching nicely. You can also reach down, and as you reach down with your hand towards the grass or to the ground, you should feel your lower back pulling and stretching as well. Now you're going to reach down and use your hands to support you as you try to get into the splits. Try not to overdo it, it's easy to overstretch when you do the splits. Now in this position, you get your front foot aiming straight ahead of you, back foot at a 90 degree angle, you reach over keeping your knee in line with your heel, not reaching too far over your foot, and you get your arms out for balance, you should feel your hip and your groin area stretch. Widen your stance and make sure that you reach to the sky as you lean into the stretch with your back leg and you'll feel your hips stretch and flex. Lean forward and reach for your back leg, grab the ankle and pull it towards your buttocks and you'll feel your 
groin and your quad muscles stretch and flex. Try get your chest to reach down to the ground and you should feel the hips opening up. Now when you stand up, keep both feet flat on the ground with your toes pointing and facing forward and hands flat on the ground. Switch sides and do the same movements on the other leg. To stretch your glute and buttocks area, place the one leg on top of the other like this. Reach down and grab the ground to help with balance.
Now we'll stretch the calf muscle. Keep that front leg straight. You can keep your one hand just above the knee like I've done. Grab the toes with the other hand. Pull the toes back. You can also keep the knee bent if you want. It does do a good amount of stretching just in a slightly different area as if the leg was straight. Here is another way you can stretch your quad muscle. The best way to balance is just to focus on one spot on the ground. You can also grab something with the other hand to hold on for balance. Stretching the ankle is often overlooked. I stretch it like this and I roll my foot from my big toe to my small toe and it pulls and stretches different parts of my ankle. This helps a lot to have flexible and stronger ankles for surfing. I also stretch my toes and I roll my toes from the big toe to the small toe. This is a good stretch for your lower back. You can either hold your hand reaching towards the sky like this, or you can do small mobility movements where you reach down and then back up in several repetitions.
this is a good stretch to open up and stretch the hips. The best way to do it without hurting or injuring your knees is to rest your knees on your elbows like I have done here. This is another way to stretch the hips, just a slightly different position. You want to keep your feet together, place your knees on the ground and place and push your hips down and forward. These next two stretches and movements are also good for the hips. Here is another good stretch for the glutes and a little bit for the groin and hip area and sometimes you'll feel it in your hamstrings as well. The sitting position is also good 
to stretch your hamstrings and the muscles at the back of your legs. You can also grab your toes and pull the toes back. Tuck your chin into your chest if you want it a little bit more extreme. When I do this next one, I always place my hands just on my lower back to support this movement. I like this because it stretches my neck and my upper back. Here is another good stretch for your lower back. You should also at times feel your back cracking. If and when you grab your toes like I've just done here, you'll also feel it at the back of your legs. Now we'll be like a cat and stretch our back. The best way is to inhale and then exhale as you push and extend your back and spine towards the sky. You also want to use your abs to squeeze and push them in towards your spine as you extend your back out.
placing your hips on the ground with your arms extended like this is a really good lower back stretch what I do is I just roll my neck and my head from side to side back and forth and shoulder to shoulder to stretch out the neck muscles as well To stretch the calf muscles a little more, I place the one leg on top of the other and I push and extend out on the one that's on the ground. Now for the last stretch, I keep all fours down on the ground, I slowly walk back and as I do that, I'll feel my legs, my calf muscles and hamstrings stretching and I get into my final position, hold the back of my ankles and hold it there for a couple of seconds. Thanks for watching and well done if you watched the whole video and followed all the stretching and movements. I hope this works out for you. It does for me and I hope you are able to surf and to work out very well and also prevent injury through stretching.